If you've been following me on YouTube, I just recently did a video. The title was Housing Market 2022 Forecast, in which we have a ton of comments going on, positive and negative. We have over 15,000 views, and I thought that it'd be just interesting to kind of dive into some of these comments and respond. So let's see what some people have to say. If you've been watching my YouTube channel, you've probably seen one of my recent videos where I try to forecast the 2022 market. Now, we have a ton of comments, positive and negative. I thought that I would not only take a moment to respond to some of these comments, but hopefully answer some more questions because amongst it, we generated a lot of conversation. So let's dive right in. Okay, so here's a fun one. There's no way in hell that I would touch real estate right now. Okay, again, we're in 2021 and a lot of people are looking at the real estate market at, at a peak. I'm always telling people our perspective is skewed because we're just looking at the real estate market through a soda straw, which I think I've done this exact same like mantra, but don't look at real estate through a soda straw. Look at it for the big picture. Over the course of time, real estate has always gained equity growth. And if the numbers make sense from an investment standpoint and you're making money monthly on it, I'm not exactly sure why somebody wouldn't be looking at real estate. Let's also talk about all the multi-millionaires out there. Most millionaires own real estate and they use it as an investment platform. So if you're somebody that's just at home and you're putting your money in your savings account, that's great. I'm not here to knock you, but there's really never a market where people aren't buying or making money in one way, shape or form in real estate. So I would say open your mind up a little bit. All right, let's find another one. Ooh, that one called me a liar. That was mean. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. Bye, bye, bye now so you can sell, sell, sell when everything is dead, dead, dead. Uh, you should be a stand-up comedian. Okay, this one's a good one. So we kind of went back and forth a little bit with this. So this guy says, truth is that no one knows for sure if this is a good time or not. Hedge funds lose sometimes. You could be right, you could be wrong if the market tips. Uh, could also pay off to wait. I'd rather get a house when the interest rates are high and prices are low so I can refinance when interest rates drop again. Our economy is not healthy. Oof, I, I kind of feel you there. What happens when these, buyer, these buyers start to miss payments? So many good questions in that one. I don't even know where to start. I actually did respond to him and he was very nice. He says, thanks for the reply and congratulations on the success. It's very nice when you get some nice commentary, but let's dive into some of his points. He said that he rather buy when interest rates are high and prices are low so I can refinance when interest rates drop again. And his first statement was all about not knowing when all this was gonna happen. So I would actually defer him right back to his own comment. We don't know when all that's going to happen. Right now, one of the biggest reasons why we have an influx of buyers is because the interest rates are low. He says he want rather interest rates high and buy low. Well, everybody would like to buy low, but we just don't know when that's gonna happen. If that's gonna be in the next two years, five years, 10 years, 20, 25 years. And the fact of the matter is people are still making money now, even with the, the prices of where they're at and we're expecting those prices to continue to increase. Now, this is all, again, nobody has a crystal ball. I'm just telling you what I hear, what I find out, what I research. I'm around this all the time. We're constantly going to masterminds. We're mingling with people. We're trying to educate ourselves as much as possible and then bring that to you. So yes, I don't have a crystal ball. I am also still purchasing and I am also still making profit. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So. Um, really great guy. Let's do one other. He says, you could be right or wrong. We already said that. Um, interest rates are low. I, I wish you well, man. If you could buy when the market crashes, I'm ready to buy too. There's a fine balance in investing with financing and also staying liquid for if and when that market does dip that you can buy, buy, buy. Don't, don't be fooled. I'm doing both. So I am financing investments right now and capturing those low interest rates because that's pretty much you know, free money. And I'm also saving in the event that we do have any kind of market dips. We just don't see that happening right now. And as the time goes on, these houses are still building equity. So something to consider there. But thank you for your positive comments. Let's go into another one. So I'll read a couple nice ones because trust me, there's a lot of mean ones in this one. This one says, I really love your content and valuable information. Please keep doing really good work. Thank you. That was very nice. 
Ooh, because JC says this is the kind of realtor I would never trust to represent me. <sighs> hurts, man, that really, really hurts. I know that that last video sounded very, in, in a kind of way, high pressure sales. This is what I was trying to, to convey. There is a amount of buyers out there that if they don't buy soon, they may be priced out of the market. Mind you, there's tons of comments in here saying, of course, this is a realtor saying buy a house. Guys, I'm not, how am I gonna make money off of other people going out and buying a house based off of my video? I can't. This is just me trying to lead people to water. If they wanna drink, awesome. I am so for that. If they wanna stand there and be thirsty, you can do that too. Um, at the end of the day, I know who I am and what I'm trying to do. And what I'm trying to do is bring you all the information that I know so that you can make better informed decisions and hopefully grow your portfolio and be successful. That's what this channel is about. I want you to be successful. So I'm sorry that JC thinks that I'm the kind of realtor that he would never want to represent him. That's mean. Okay, so this guy says, go out and buy a house. I'll take a nap while you're doing it. Nelson, are you napping in a rented house? That would be my question. Like, are you a renter? Are you a homeowner? Are you not trying to invest? What does your portfolio look like? Like, I have a lot of questions for you, Nelson. So go out and buy a house. I'll take a nap while doing it. That's sad. Like, we only have so much time. And man, if I had all this information when I was younger, where would I be today, right? I'm, I'm happy with where I'm at. But again, if we can expedite this education and we can teach people now at younger ages, we could just expedite their opportunity of wealth and generating growth in their real estate portfolio. So man, time, if, if anything, we always say time is of the essence and we don't have a lot of time left on this earth. So I don't really like taking a lot of naps when it's a good time to buy. Um, let's see. Oh. So this is a good one. He says, anyone renting is already paying a mortgage, dot, 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 their landlords. Oh, so much truth there, right? So continue renting, go ahead. I'm a landlord, I'll continue paying my mortgage. And there's a, a, a comment somewhere in here I just read a few minutes ago and I'm not gonna try to go dig it up, but it's pretty much saying that I must be in debt, that all of my renters probably aren't paying me and all of this stuff. I wanna see how much debt this woman has. So that's a really fun topic. In 2020, when COVID hit, I will absolutely be honest with you that I went, whoo, this is gonna sting, this is gonna hurt. And I know a lot of landlords that were exactly like me. We all kind of braced ourselves and didn't really know what to expect. Here are my real factual numbers. In 2020, not one of my tenants out of 15 properties didn't pay me rent. There was one tenant who needed to break up her rent. So she paid a little bit in the beginning of the month and paid a little bit at the end of the month, but everybody made their mortgages. When having conversations with other people, because I stay around the same kind of investor type pool of people, we're all asking each other this. And the majority said the exact same thing. I only had two people with one property each where their tenants weren't paying the mortgage. So for the person that kind of made that assumption there, I'm sorry to say that you're wrong. We actually had mortgages being paid. It was very gracious. And trust me, I remember that as a landlord. Come Christmas time, I'm usually the first kind of landlord to do nice little cutbacks on the rent. I appreciate you being an honest, nice human being and continue paying your mortgage like you said you were going to. Here's my thank you, that kind of thing. So there was no factual comment there on your assessment of me. Oh. Well, that's a good one. I got to get back to that one later, I guess. But I, we'll read it here. He just says, or sorry, she, Martha just says, I would like to buy, but not here in Vegas. I am moving to Mexico next to San Diego, California. I am retired and getting social security benefits. So I actually am working with a few buyers right now that are purely social security based. Um, I don't know if you're married or not, Martha, but we could take a look at that. The same DTI ratios and looking at your credit scores, all of the same thing applies when speaking to a lender. So as long as you don't have a lot of debt accumulated and your social security payments can cover a mortgage, you can buy a house. So I would say that the biggest thing right there is just to get connected with the best kind of lender and representation and many successes to you and buying in Mexico. I'll come visit. Wow. Las Vegas houses will be 10 cents on the dollar soon. Save your money, folks. 
Okay, I'm gonna keep buying on that one. My response was, man, with low interest rates, low inventory, and more cash than we've ever seen before holding the market up, we're just not seeing that. I wish you well, though, holding fast, so. All of us are just doing the best that we can, right? Like all of us, like that person thinks that they're making the best assessment and judgment for themselves. All I'm trying to do is give you what I know and then you can go and, you know, do with it what you want. Take, take naps on couches apparently, let's see. Well, this is a redundant one, but it says, laugh out loud, a realtor telling me I need to buy now. I have so many comments in here saying, wow, shocker, realtor alert telling you to buy now. I just don't understand those comments because I'm not getting anything from the people out there that may be buying that I don't know. Like I can't make a commission out of this, you guys. I don't even know what you're talking about. But um, what I think I'm doing is sitting here as a realtor. So this is my job and my career and what I stay educated on. And I'm taking all the information that I see daily and weekly and over and over again. And I'm just trying to give it to you to make an educated decision. So, um, man, a realtor telling me to buy now, I just, I don't get that because I'm not really getting anything from you. And what I'm also trying to highlight is that I'm not just a realtor, I'm also an investor. So I am doing exactly what I'm telling you you should be doing and I'm making money doing it. So there's that, wow. <laughs> this one was, this one. So I would say that if people like take a moment to actually like write a comment, just at least give it some context, right? Because some of these are funny. It says from the Lopez family, somehow you seem like you were bought out. And I put, some of these comments are eyebrow raising and so interesting to me. Thanks for playing because I don't really get that one at, out at all. How am I being bought out just trying to take my time away from my family to make videos to help educate you, but that's funny. Oh, so we just have, it, this is a short and sweet one. It says pure guessing. I don't think that they're totally wrong there. And stay, 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 stick with me, stick with me, pure guessing. This is the thing. In science, it's called a hypothesis, which is an educated guess. And so we are all making somewhat of guesses or predictions. We use predictions as big adult words, right? But that's what it is. It's taking educated data and trying to make an educated guess, i.e. hypothesis on what the market is going to do and continue to do. Except for I have a lot of information coming in helping me make that educated guess. So pure guessing. Pure is the only word that I don't like there because we've got a lot of information coming in to make these hypotheses, i.e. educated guess. So. I'm gonna give you a halfer there, a halfer point. Half point. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. This is a funny one. Uh, did I reply to this one? I did, I think I did. Okay, I'm just gonna read my response on this one. Stop forcing people to buy a home in this market. You are the problem. I say, first of all, there's no physical way of me forcing anyone to buy a home. I am a mother, a wife, an investor, a realtor. I surround myself with investors for, from all walks of life on a daily basis. All I can do is bring you the information I feel is most important if you decide to take it and use it to grow your own portfolio and wealth, good on you. If not, no worries. We're all make our own decisions, right? I wish you well and nothing but growth in this thing called life. So forcing people through a YouTube video to buy a house, I mean, damn, I'm good. Oh, JC, he's back with the one-liners. Yeah. JC just dropped a few. Another one from the same guy. This has to be the worst advice I've ever heard. And I put, looking forward to seeing all the educational content do you put out there, JC. Much luck and prosperity, brother. Okay, let me do a fun one. Really, I just found another one. It just says, so Phil says, I'm under contract on my first home with exclamation points. And I just said, congratulations. That's freaking awesome. Enjoy home ownership and paying yourself much love. So that is a good one to end off on. I really get excited when I see people buy their own home, buy their first investment, buy their second investment, and really start to understand the total power behind real estate. So congratulations, Phil Crypto. That's super cool. In summary, 
I just wanted to take a moment, like I said, to not only respond to some of the comments, but actually kind of hopefully answer a couple more questions that were generated. So again, that last clip was not to be forceful and saying, go out and buy a home, but a little bit of it was, yeah, there's a, there's a, a, a price range that's happening right now where buyers are being priced out of the market. That's truly what's happening. So if you fit into that criteria and that mold, I'm just trying to say, be careful. If you were the type of person that was saying, oh, I'm going to keep renting for like one to two to three more years. I want to buy a house in the $350,000 range. All I'm saying is that you may be priced out before you can actually make that happen. So do yourself a favor, go get qualified or go see what's happening. And if you can expedite that, I'm just saying maybe you should. So I hope that you had fun reading through some of those comments. Some of them stung, some of them were funny, some of them were very, very sweet. So thank you for all of that. Please remember that if you like my channel, do the whole thing, the subscribe, the likes, the, all that stuff, the comments, comment on some of their comments. I mean, this is actually kind of fun. And remember at the end of the day, who's your home girl? I'm your home girl.